We've been talking about this through commercial breaks last couple of days. It, the talker is the Saharan dust and it is making its way across the Atlantic Ocean through the Caribbean right now. The plume of desert sand quite impressive, uh, but it keeps the tropics quiet, which is a very good thing. Beautiful sunrises and sunsets. How was all of this possible? I am so glad you asked. It's time to cue the music for a little science with Steve Federer. How we doing? I've said it a few times in the past, and I'll say it again. Developing a tropical cyclone is kind of like making pasta. You need the right amount of each specific ingredient for it all to come together. Flour, egg, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, just a touch of water. And when we're trying to put together a tropical cyclone, and all the right ingredients gotta come into place. Temperature, dew point, air pressure, ocean temperature, instability, saturation in the air. And just like when we're making pasta dough, too much of one ingredient and not enough of the other, things get a little wonky. And over, I would say, the past two weeks or so, there's been a whole lot of one specific ingredient in the atmosphere, and that's dust. Yeah, dust from the deserts of Africa. So you see, this time of year, the trade winds really start to pick up. They move from east to west, blowing across the subtropics in the northern hemisphere. So this wind picks up all the dust, throws it into the atmosphere, carries it all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. All right, well, so what? Well, as you can imagine, dust in the atmosphere dries out the air. Drier atmosphere means harder for a tropical cyclone to develop. You see, tropical cyclones don't like dust in the atmosphere. Just like our pasta here. See, if we had too much flour in the recipe, I wouldn't be getting nice spaghetti like this. Contrary to popular news headlines and pictures out of the Caribbean that make it seem like it's the end of the world, eh, I don't blame them because 2020 has been a mood. We don't mind Saharan dust. It's kept the tropics quiet, and locally, we've been able to enjoy some feisty sunrises and sunsets. Now, this isn't gonna last forever. You might as well sit back, enjoy the pasta, and stay prepared. After all, peak hurricane season is right around the corner. Salute.